when you're on the job, chatting with your coworkers, chances are you talk about a lot of stuff, non-work stuff. You talk about the weather, your kids, sports, always a big thing. But chances are you're not talking religion. Because let's face it, if you bring it up in a lot of workplaces, that room is going to get uncomfortable. You can almost feel the tension. Why is it, though, that religion is so taboo at work? Mike Galano's not afraid of a taboo topic. Tackling this one for us today in our Get to the Point segment. Erica, you just hit on it. That's been the school of thought. It's like, hey, I don't want to hear it. Keep your religion to yourself at work. But more people are saying, hey, I'm a person of faith. That's just who I am. Let's take a look at a recent Gallup poll. 78% of people believe in God. Over half say religion is very important in their lives. But the real question coming out of that is, all right, how do we handle it at work, if at all? Joining us to talk about that is Al Vivian. He's with Basic Diversity, Inc. And uh, bottom line, you teach companies how to have that healthy, diverse work environment. Yes. Okay, now, before you get going, let's face it. People say, okay, that's nice. We talk about diversity and religion. But isn't it still taboo to talk about it at work? It has still been a taboo, which is why most companies have avoided this issue. Uh, the reality is, though, as our workforce shrinks, uh, baby boomers are about to retire. We're going to need people. We're going to have a 10 million personnel shortfall in the U.S. alone. Companies that can differentiate themselves from others are going to have a better time recruiting people. So if you have people of faith, and as your poll shows, 56% say it's very important to them, if you have something that's going to say to 56% of the people, hey, you can come work here and be who you are, you might have an edge over other companies. So what are employers telling them. you is it, hey, Joe wants to talk about Christianity. This person wants to talk about this. There could be the fight interdenominationally. That person wants to talk about Judaism or Islam. How are you working on that all out without people getting offended? It can be very divisive, let's face it. Yeah, there, there's an old saying that uh, religion is like fire. It warms, but it also burns. So the, the, the question is, are you going to be ready in case something like that happens, if there is a challenge. Religion in the workplace what is already there. What does ready mean, real quick? Uh, are you, are you, are you have, do you have policies set up to where people can have challenging conversations without it destroying the organization? Are you set up to where you have an inclusive environment? Diversity is there. It's a matter of whether you have an organization that's inclusive you, of all the people that are there. You just hit on a big topic. Let's face it, in this nation, we're a little more con uh, comfortable with the Old Testament, the New Testament. What about Islam? You throw Islam in the mix. I want to get uh, Rabia Ahmed to join us now. She's with the Council of American Islamic Relations. Let's talk frankly here, Rabia. Many people this, uh, in the West do not understand Islam. Some are afraid of it. Are we ready to have these conversations in the workplace? Absolutely. I mean, our, our research and experience shows that more workplaces are incorporating, incorporating diversity trainings and are calling on organizations like CARE to conduct diversity um, educational seminars so that they can be more aware of Islamic practices and more sensitive to their empl uh, employees' needs. Okay, so let, let's, you help me here. You, you're talking to people out in the workforce, but let me give you an example where the Muslim wears the veil or the head covering and the employer goes, that's okay, but you're scaring people, you're scaring coworkers, maybe customers. Mm -hmm. Is that playing out, and how are we supposed to handle that? Well, we shouldn't um, base our policies on fears. In, in fact, we should see that as an opportunity to educate each other because that's the only way that we're going to overcome these fears. For Muslims, Islam is a way of life. It's not something you can leave at the door. So it's something that we're going to have to engage, um, and, and this should be uh, applicable for Muslims, Christians, and Jews. All right, let me uh, get back to you on this one, Al. Let, let's give you an example now. Let's okay. say we're in a meeting, and we're talking about how to handle a project, and all of a sudden when someone says, oh, my pastor was talking about that, maybe drops a Bible verse. Come on, that room's going to go quiet. You're going to hear the crickets <laughs> before you hear anybody talk, right? Yeah, well, the, the, the reality is, if that's a part of what drives them, that's okay if they say that. As long as you're consistent and you allow somebody who's Muslim to be able to bring up scriptures from the Quran. Or if you're welcome and open to let people who are Buddhist talk about what they believe. It's okay to have it there as long as it's managed well. The reality is, again, it's already there. The question is, are you going to be prepared for it? Or are you going to be willy-nilly and be shocked and be destroyed by yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. And you, you just hit it. Managed well is right. a key on that one. Uh, we, we've got to leave it there. Uh, Al Vivian and uh, Robbie Ackman, we appreciate your time. And we really now, we want to hear from you, the viewer. Please email us, cnn.com slash prime news. Go to the link and you can email us because you are the people living it. What is it like in your work environment? Where do you fall? Are you a person that says, hey, I don't want to hear about it. Keep your religion to yourself. Or are you a person of faith that feels you can't say anything and you really want to and that's who you are? Can't wait to hear from you again. CNN.com slash Prime News. Hit that link and let us know what you feel. Erica? All right. Thanks, Mike. Another good one, as always.